Hey, what's going on everyone? Appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Fallout 76 video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you all a new shelter that Bethesda just added into the game within the Fallout 76 Pit DLC. As you can see, the shelter is called Neighborhood Square Shelter, and it costs a whopping 1,800 atom points. So, yeah, it's definitely not cheap. So I thought making a video over this new shelter would be beneficial for players on whether or not they want to buy it. As you can see with some of these screenshots here, it looks like our shelter will lead us to this neighborhood that we can build at. It has like a skybox and everything to it. It's pretty insane. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. Definitely interested in checking this out, and I'm sure other players are too. So yeah, let's go ahead and purchase this. Alright, so I'm here at my camp now. Now let me go ahead and place this new shelter and see what it's all about. Alright, so here it is. I'll go ahead and place it right here, why not? <laughs> so this is what the shelter looks like before entering it. I just live out here in peace. Looks good. Also has the pit on top of it. So yeah, let's go ahead and enter this neighborhood square and check out what it's all about. Alright, so here's the spawn of first entering the shelter. We spawn right here outside of the store. Wow. Little detail going on in here. What is this? Shelters control panel. Okay. This is the way you can build while being in here. And oh my gosh. Look at this. This is insane. <laughs> it's like we have our own personal neighborhood now. This is crazy. I can see it now, all the different creations in here. There's going to be loads of good ones, I'm sure. Man, tons of space just right here in the center of it. I like the way the buildings don't all look the same either. Around us. They each have like their different designs on them. I like that. At least for the most part, it seems like. Yeah. They're a little different in textures. Looks like those buildings are kind of similar in the background. But they'd have quite a bit of different ones surrounding us. Anyways. What else? Can we enter any of these? No. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, what? Tunnel over here. Oh, nice. Piece of a train. Some trains right here you can connect. Make your own little custom train connected to that. This is amazing, I gotta say. I can only see Bethesda expanding on this idea. Kind of crazy to think, though, we just went into a shelter and came out to this. But, in a way, I mean, I guess it could make sense. Like, we just went into a shelter that's interconnected to getting to this place or something. Yeah, I guess it could make sense like that. You know, I don't want to overthink this. <laughs> it is neat. And I can see Bethesda expanding on this idea where we go to more giant areas like this. Like, this is the first time they've ever done this, where we have a skybox within our shelter. I mean, they've made some crazy shelters and, like, you know, even caves for our shelters but they've never done something like this where we enter one and come outside to a place like this is a whole new concept it's like we own a section of the city at the pit and we're able to create whatever here it's like we have a camp at the pit which is neat you know because I know that was one thing players were looking forward to at least I know I was I was hoping to be able to build a camp over in the pit but this is another way where they can still let us do that in a way we're able to 
go in our shelters and build in like the pit environment but yeah for the most part i gotta say this is sweet i would love to know your guys's opinion on this um so this is what all you're working with you got a lot of room in here a lot let me check real quick can we get on these stairs up here oh getting kind of close uh no it seems like there's an invisible wall thought i would check that out that'd be cool doesn't seem like they're supposed to be part of like the play area though but we can hop on these <laughs> This is insane. I do recommend, if you are looking for a shelter to get, I recommend checking this one out. So it definitely helps spice up your camps. It's like you actually get to build a camp at the pit now. I think this is awesome, though, how we get to like have our own personal neighborhood now. Like This is insane. And I can see Bethesda carrying on with this concept and making more designs like this. Maybe they'll add more sections of the pit for a shelter where you could build your camp at or something. Because it does seem like there's like a tunnel system or something that leads you to this pit area. I wonder what they have in store for the future for more concepts like this where there's an actual skybox. Speaking of skybox, to wrap up this video, I decided to check how high we can build in this place because it does look like we have plenty of space to build up and as you can see it seems like right up around where my floors are up here is the build height limit let me go ahead and jump over to that floor so you kind of jump from here all right so yeah i'm hitting the invisible ceiling by jumping right now i don't know if i'm going to be able to make that jump i'm going to bring this a little closer That'll do. That'll do. Oh no! <clears throat> of course. Failed to jump. That's alright. Okay. I'm up. So yeah, seems like this is the build height in here. This is as, as high as you can build within this place. That's a pretty good height. I mean, I could lose a lot of health falling from here if I wanted. Definitely more room than usual, it seems like. The atmosphere within this shelter is insane. But, yeah, I guess that's our wrapping up this video, everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed this tour and review over this place. I'm out of here. As always, thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.